So yeah, guys, um, this is level 80. I uh, finally beat it. Um, I brought these two uh, Rikon, uh, however you want to say it, crossbowmen. I brought these gold um, swordsmen. I have my own swordsmen right here. I only have 20 of them, just because I capped out my uh, gold cap. Because I have these guys too, and another set of gold archers. These are mine. And then I have some uh, gold spearmen on each side, and I have my angel up here in the top corner. Um, I figured I'd discuss my hero choice first. Um, Jack is very strong, um, even without Grim. He's still very strong. Um, and Vega's heal is ultimately game-changing uh, for level 80. Um, so the, the last choice is the hardest choice for me. Um, I wanted Virion because he can raise a lot of the swordsmen from the dead. Um, and he also buffs them. Um with extra HP and damage, but I chose um, I chose Avalon uh, strictly because he allows one more unit to be on the field, um, and I thought that having some extra golds raised from the dead would be worth having the extra damage. Um, it would be worth more having an extra set of damage rather than just raising some more archers, uh, some swordsmen from the dead, uh, because damage is ultimately the problem. Uh, for me. Um, so this is only like my second or third try. I tried it once on my phone. I got really close, so I came to the desktop to record and beat it here. Um, so I could share it, because they don't allow sharing replays anymore for whatever reason. In the void. Um, so, uh, here we go. So, I was just trying to figure out exactly what I was up against. Um, like their exact placement. Um, get everything lined up. I do have those guys back there just because I want um, I want them to live as long as possible. <laughs> and Jack does need to go up there for his uh, skill shot um, of Firestorm. And you can see right off the bat, I use, I want to use uh, I want to use Ale on this side because that's the side the dragon's going to go towards. Um, so I want to do as much damage as him as possible. Um, and I use it on this side to try and break up. As much as I can. After that, you can see I use Firestorm. I'm really trying to kill this spider and this angel. Um, uh, knocking those two down really helped um, a great deal. Just because the spiderlings add up. After another 30 seconds, there'd be a million spiderlings. Also, this heal from the dam from uh, that angel, the AOE is just ridiculous. The AOE heal. Considering there's also another angel and another spider, at least, on this side. I think there's, yeah, there's two spiders. There's one here and one here. Um, at this point, I thought I was going to lose, but I actually, uh, I'm doing pretty well, uh, looking back. Um, I probably should have thrown that heel right here on top of, uh, what's his name? Um, Jack. But you can see I could have done better. Um, I think I would have done better if I moved all the archers over a little bit more. Um... So once the angel died, um, the dragon would have been still on top of my crossbowmen and archers. Um, but you live, you learn. And I beat it, so I really didn't care at this point. But if you are struggling to use my build, just try shifting the archers over um, and the crossbowmen over a little bit more. And um, that may fix your issues. Um, but yeah. Um, I didn't go over the hero's uh, HP or uh, gear in the video, so I'll go over that here in just a second. Um, but here you can see my damage. Um, those crossbowmen do a crap ton of damage. Um, so, that helps a lot. Um, find somebody that you can borrow from, right? <laughs> um, and then I'll pull up my account. Oh, what's this? Something's going on. Yay! And the game's frozen. What the heck? That's really weird. Um, never had that happen before. Um, I'm just trying to get to their gear so you can see what I used. And their abilities. So I used 
Avalon. This is his current setup. Um, he does some, I summon um, the archers in the back. They actually do really well. Um, I summon them during the battle. They help kill the spider at the bottom of the map. Um, and here are his abilities. Um, once I hit 40, I'll respec him and take out summon archers and put all the points in these two. Um, and let's see, I, went, I used Vega as well. I just haven't found a better item for her. I hate this thing. It's freaking ugly. But there's nothing better available right now. Um, favor the Sun God. Um, as long as she can live, you know, uh, 25 seconds, 30 seconds, five extra seconds probably it wouldn't have made a difference for me. Um, but I think if I had no points in this one and more points in like boost healing and heal, like that would have helped. But I didn't need it. Um, I don't know why I keep clicking like that. And then Jack. Here's his gear. And I have nine points actually, so I should probably put those in something. Um, I just used a bunch of ability cards on him. Um, so I can't really leave that till 45. So. Hmm. Yeah, that's my only real option is uh is either spray and pray or firestorm. I'll make that decision later. <laughs> so um you can see all the gear there. Um and then if I did have Virian, I would use him like this. Um that's my current setup on him. I haven't dumped a lot of cards into him. Um but just because I had one extra point, or two extra points, I put one here and one here. Um, this one is, this ability is just too great to leave behind, especially on a map like level 80. Um, just because that shield keeps him alive for that extra 30 seconds. That can give him the time to cast both of his spells um, once it triggers. And then hopefully he'll survive a little bit longer after that, right? Um, his resurrection. Um... Instead of fled off the map, so yeah, even this one, level three, because I have plus one, right? So level three is all you need uh, for level eighty, or because if you only have 20, forty-eight of them on the map, and actually no, because those guys actually, uh, my apologies, those guys actually die, uh, die, sta die standing. Um, they won't retreat or flee. So um, you could max this ability um, technically. Um, and you get plenty of bang for your buck. But I think Swords and Mastery is also a really good one. Um, so I'd put all my points in Swords and Mastery and Crusader Resurrection, and just one in each, just for the actual abilities. Um, that might help change the map for you a little bit. Um, other than that, um, yeah, that's really it. Um, I'll show my research too, because that makes a big difference, right? Um, I'm actually working on level 11. Um, so I use Spearman. I'll go over there and research real fast. Um, been working on this one a lot. It's just I don't ever have enough wood, um, no matter how, how many people I attack. Um, I just am always wood starved. That's actually what I use a lot of my guard tower points on. Um, use my archers. I use only one set of these archers. Um, I really don't care about the cost of crossbowmen or archers. Um, what I'd really like is just this part, the rare resources. That'd be really nice, but that's going to cost me another, what, like 200,000 wood easily? And I just don't have that much wood to spare. Um, I'd have to lose my queue times for my uh, for my construction. I don't want to do that. Um, uh, footman. I used all the, I used two, one set of my own, one set of somebody else's. Um, this is strictly while they're on garrison duty, but this one actually offers, uh, while they're on grasslands. So that would have helped in this battle, um, because that stage of the void is a, a, uh, grassland. 
I didn't use any cav, I didn't use any healers, I didn't use any sieges, so that's really that. Um, you're probably wondering why I have it like this. Um, that's because uh, we have a research event coming up, so I'm trying to queue them up and leave them sitting as soon as the event starts. Then I go boom, 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 boom. I have five researches done already worth several thousand points. It puts you up a lot higher on the list. Um, and also that's why um, I'm upgrading that now, and I have all this time saved up, because as soon as you start it, and you're a patron, you get 10 minutes off each timer, right? Um, and then you go through all the short researches of like one hour, two hour, three hour. Um, it's the most effective way to get a lot of points quick. Um, so uh, my theory is um, if you can let your researches sit at like 24 out of 25 for like, um, let's say like your sieges because you don't really care about their research very much. Like get this to 19 out of 20, 19 out of 20. 24 and then 24 right and then complete all those researches let them sit in the queue um and then just keep working off one research until you have a research event let that one finish and then once the event actually starts you collect all these bonuses because whenever you finish the last level of one of these it unlocks this and it's like extra it like doubles your amount of research bonus points um, so instead of being worth like 3,000 for finishing a research, you get like six. So if you do that for four of them, or five of them, you're looking at like double whatever anybody else would get for finishing any other sort of research. Um, and that gives you a, a strong leg up. And then of course, you, if you save your time like I do, and you do it all on low tier research, like 30 minute, one hour, one and a half, two hour, and then burn as much of it as you can beneath on those smaller ones, it really adds up. Um, I'll post a little video of uh, when I burn all my time and see what spot it gets me to. Um, but we'll see. Also, that research is direly needed. I've been holding off and, um, for like a week, roughly, on upgrading that um, academy. Uh, but this would help so much. And I really can't put it off any longer, so I'm glad this event's now. But um, I know this video kind of turned into a level 80 plus research event. Um, uh, research event advice, but, oh well, I rambled a little bit. I hope you learned something. Have a good day, guys.